Hello, Lola. So welcome to my playroom. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, actually in one of the guest bedrooms um, and I am just not going to just prep. I was going to like set everything up and everything, but I said, you know what? Why not just do it on camera? So I am going to attempt to get the babies ready or, you know, changed and positioned and all that great jazz. As I talk to you guys, guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, do me a favor and smash that red subscribe button. Tell your friends to come subscribe to my channel. Um, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And, um, yeah, so, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, and don't forget to get your merch. The link is in the description bar. Also, on the tab, it says store, and you can get your merch through there as well and there will be new merch for the chatterbox members as well coming up soon so um i just want you guys to be aware of that i appreciate all of you that have been buying merch and um all of my subscribers so what i have here is noah nigel and penelope um but i am going to put noah in this little bird sleeper and this <laughs> socks and I don't think he's gonna have hot hammocks on but the funny thing is is I forgot on the live stream um last night I took his um his uh cloth diaper off and I didn't have a diaper on so I just like put him just put his onesie on with no no bottom so when I picked him up this morning it was so funny because um, when I picked him up, he, he I was like, "Woo, you got him a diaper, boy!" And it was like hilarious. I'm gonna give her the pink pillow. Um, so yeah, it was it was it was quite hilarious because for all of a sudden I remember that feeling of what a real baby feels like when they don't have on a diaper under their clothes. Um, and how I know that is because you know how you take the babies and you want to put them in the water, like in a pool or something like that. And, you know, way back when, before they had the swim diapers and all that stuff, I um, have pulled the baby pamper off and put them, you know, you pull, pull the baby pamper off or something like that and put them in that. Just different scenarios may cause for the baby not to have on a diaper up under there their um clothes but that is definitely not safe to do with a real baby because you're gonna have an accident all over everything but um so i was thinking about if i get enough time to go live tonight um i think the topic that i wanted to discuss is more of an interactive topic um because i like to hear what people think as well since i'm getting more into painting silicone I've will always paint my reborns I love my reborns um in fact one of my dream baby reborns um is being done and also you know I'm painting I got a couple reborn kits that I have um like I have uh what is it um Knox by Laura Lee Eagles one of my dream babies that I've been holding the kit, I paid, I, pay, I think I paid a little bit more for that kit, I'm not sure, I can't remember, but, so like that kit, I searched high and low for it, and um, I was able to find it, thanks to Susan, I was able to get it, and um, so I got that kit, and I got it holding it to paint, so my reborns are just as important as the silicone and I think that sil the silicone market is dominating the reborn market right now but I do know that there are a lot of people that still are not really into you know the silicone babies um rather it's for price the looks of them um it's multiple reasons a lot of people like to think that it's just price but honestly there are some people that just don't like silicone um and um you know, some of it is because they just don't like it and some of it is because they've never seen one look as real 
realistic or as nice as painted as a reborn. When I first started out collecting um, reborns, silicones were very, very uh, blandly painted and it just, it didn't, they didn't blend well. There was just a number of things that I did not particularly care for with the silicone um, babies. But since then time has evolved so much and the artists are amazing with their work. Um, even, you know, not the big name artists, um, a lot of other artists that just paint and they're like not sculptors or anything like that. I mean, their work look just as nice as Reborn's. And I follow a lot of ladies that actually paint beautifully. Um, I'm really, I, one, one lady that I really want to see work in person that I've always liked her work um, is Cheryl Martin. I really like her work and I really wanted to see it in person. So hopefully one day I, I'll get to the Rose Show because it seems like that's the show that she goes to, the doll show that she goes to, um, instead of IDTS. So um, I would love to see her work in person. But, you know, there's a lot of, that's just one. There's a lot, this is a size one diaper that I just put him on. It's pretty big too. There's a lot of, um, a, like I said, there's a lot of talent out here. And everybody have a particular style that they like. And so, um, I love that about it too. But anyway, I guess I've gotten off track, as I always do. One of the things that um, I was wondering what you guys think on, what is considered, you know, people always say that silicone is not perfect because it's handmade and, you know, how the medium works. Um, it's such a different um, medium. So, and, and people always put the disclosure that silicone does have some, you know, imperfections that is normal. So what 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 makes it different? What's the difference between a uh, imperfection and a defect? You know, um, like some people, um, like for me, a baby with bubbles, like the little air bubbles in the silicone, that's a defect. That's a boo boo, not a imperfection. Um, a little bit of a little bit of maybe in an area, maybe a little rough spot that's really tiny and minute, that might be considered as an imperfection to me. Um, a, of course, a rip or a tear is a boo-boo, a defect, you know, type thing. If the sculpt is warped by any kind of way, like, um, and it doesn't look the same as the rest of the, the, the babies in the edition, Meaning not that the artist changed the way that it looked, but it just came out wrong or different um, to the point of, when I say different, to where it changed the whole the look of the, the doll um, and not in a good way. That's to me considered a defect. Um, but there are slight imperfections and also, you know, like, when when silicone is is poured, apparently they're pouring from a batch of silicone. I guess I don't know. Um, and I'm I'm not an expert on this. I don't pour silicone, and I don't know the the gist of it all. But <clears throat> it's just like when we go to the store and we buy, you know. Um, different brands and I can get five white shirts um unless it's cut from the same exact fabric the white may be slightly different than the other white if that makes sense so that's where it comes with silicone that where there's slight differences or inconsistencies um those are not imperfections in that case but those are like um inconsistencies that may may happen or whatever but 
I don't know. It's just it's a that's a very complex subject, don't you think? Like what what is what is actually a defect? Like say for instance, okay, see how his ear is like this. Let's say the one come out and the ear is like that. I don't know if you can see that, but the ear is bent down on one, and that's the only one that the ear bent down like that. To me, that's a defect. Um, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. But I just love the silicone. And you know what? I'll be honest with you guys. Unless it's something that makes a doll look bad. Um, Sometimes, like, I've gotten dolls where the, maybe, you know, the face seemed a little bit more um narrow or something i don't know i've gotten dolls that's been a little off from others that i've seen and all that and i actually like it because i like that i get something rare something different um i've also gotten dolls where you could literally see like almost like a fingerprint in the sculpt from where the person was sculpting it and then the mold kind of like picked it up, I guess, and, and the imprint was kind of there. I've had dolls with stuff like that, and I love it. Because to me, it's just real art. Um, it's not factory made. It's not a machine running everything exactly the same. So I really appreciate that part. Um, now, there's no particular reason behind behind this video, just so you guys know. It's just something that I was thinking about when talking. I always smell this first. <laughs> I always do this and smell it first because I do have a bottle somewhere with baby baby cologne in it. And so I always make sure that I'm not about to spray their hair with that. So if you see me smelling it, that's why. Um, but yeah, so I, you know, I was... Sometimes I have conversations with my friends or different collectors and it triggered thoughts and I'm like, hmm, wonder what everybody else would think of this subject. So, um, it's not always something behind it or I'm trying to put a message out or anything like that. And guys, when I share my thoughts and my opinions on, on the dolls, I'm sharing it from a collector standpoint. Um, I've been collecting these dolls for over seven years now um, and I, you know, I'm just a collector and the only reason I paint and make dolls, I mean not make dolls, I paint dolls because I don't, I don't sculpt, the only reason I paint dolls is because at one point the dolls began to get higher and I just couldn't afford to keep buying all the dolls that I wanted because I like wanted almost every sculpt that came out so um I started I tried to teach myself to paint plus I used to have to wait long times on customs and then I would people would have have my money have me wait on a custom and then when I would check the status of the order, they would treat me like crap, like get mad and upset because I asked. And I just got kind of tired of it and I said, you know what, I'm going to try to see if I can paint my own baby. And I didn't know if I could paint. Um, I've The closest I've gotten to art is collecting wall art. Um, I've never tried to paint or do anything you know artsy before the dolls but I just have such a love for the dolls that I said I was gonna give it a try and I did and when I did I did okay there was things that I didn't like that I did and I just I stopped for like six months or almost a year then I tried again and then I stopped again and then I just kept going and I, when I started back I just kept going and I said you know what 
and I had a whole bunch of boo-boos and I know if some of you guys remember there was one time I like had a boo sale like <laughs> it was just a whole boo fest <laughs> and I was just like $50, $150, $100, $75 I was selling all my practice babies basically and then you know and then I started selling and it was pretty my prices was pretty pretty low and as I my skill set changed my prices went up and I don't want to go over a certain amount with my reborns um but that's that's where I'm at so that's that's how I started and and even now to this day oh no up uh, no uh even now to this day I don't um really paint to sell most of the time I am doing it now for a little bit because like I told you guys I need to make up for this guy but I don't paint to sell I I normally paint for myself um so you know when people ask me like do you have a website I don't have a website maybe it's something I should do in the future but I don't have a website or anything like that because I really do it because I, I, I do it for a hobby and I love it. But I'm not doing it for free, of course. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you that lie. But yeah, so that's that's a thought. So think about that, you know, put it in the comment section if you want. Um, and maybe we'll kind of touch on it if I get a chance to go live tonight. You know, I never know my schedule on... Um, on Sundays so but yeah if I go live it'll be in the gym pop um, we did our one of our lives for um, the chatterbox last night um, and if you join you can go back and look at it it's still up um, the chatterbox is just you know doll talk hanging out type thing um, so I will do that tonight. I will go um, go live. I haven't did my live the, the, the other way in a long time. I've been enjoying doing the interactive live streams. Although I think a lot of people are a little nervous about going live and, and popping on. So I, I actually like it. So that is that. I will see you guys in the next video. Like I said, let me know what you think. Um... Again, these are, this is not Noah and Nigel, and they are my Willows, Willow Asleep and Willow Awake, and I don't know what I'm doing to his hair, but for some reason, I cannot get his hair back like how I, it used to be. I need to do it differently. I don't know. I don't even have his right, right now, so I probably need to do it off camera where I can concentrate. Um, but like I said, in the meantime, guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share, like, and comment. I am zooming in really quick because you guys, I didn't realize you guys were so far away. I could have been a little closer, but yeah. So that's the boys and Penelope over there chilling out.